Hi everyone, this is Elisa from An Eyes to a Box Crochet and Happy New Year! I hope you guys had an amazing time at New Year's Eve and that you have a great 2023. I can't believe it's 2023. Can you imagine? Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, I really enjoy showing off my makes because this is a what I've been up to video. And I do love that you come and watch. Okay, so what have I been up to this week? Not much. I mean, I've been crocheting a lot, but I won't have much to show you. But first, I'm going to show you an FO because I do have one. And that is this hat. I finished knitting this hat. I messed up on the back, uh, the top. Um, I can't remember why. I think I was distracted uh, when I was making, when I started the decreases and I didn't notice one of the stitch markers fell off. But rather than frog it, I just kept going. And this is what I got. Um, I was going to steal my daughter's styrofoam head that she insisted on buying. Because she was going to make it. Hi, sweetie. That's my son. She insisted on buying a styrofoam head from Dollarama because she wanted to make a spooky face out of it. She hasn't done anything. But I was going to steal it so I could put it on her head. Although the styrofoam is really small. To show you what it looked, I could put it on mine. But it usually messes up my job, so I don't wear hats because of that. Uh, but this is what I have. I still have another skein of this and a lot more from this skein that I'm hoping to make a cowl at one point. I actually started it, and uh, I <clears throat> when I work in the round in knitting, it takes me a few starts because I always either end up Wait, twisting my... That? Yes, this is knitted. Oh. I always end up twisting the... You know, like when you cast on, when you're supposed to do it, you have to make sure it doesn't twist. I either end up twisting it or suspecting I twisted it and just frog it, which is what happened last time. But anyways, that is one of my FOs. The other FO is right here. Uh, I don't have it anymore. That's Pinocchio. It's zombie Pinocchio. And to I'm the person... about to ask if you're going to show that. I can't show it. I already sent it. But to the person who bought it from Toon Studios, thank you so much. I don't know if you already got the original... Pinocchio or if you're going to get this one but I hope you enjoy it all right so this is my whip uh I really really hoped to show you a finished version of him but I don't it's not finished um hopefully today or tomorrow but anyways uh this is the first time I'm actually designing a male body uh for the most part actually this is the first time that's all I gotta say. I've done female bodies a lot, but male bodies, this is the first one. This is a Zombie Prince Charming, and uh, it is a Toon Studios. It was ordered by Toon Studios, so I need to finish it soon. <laughs> it's a commission. So uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm working on the tuxedo part of the... Yeah, so it's like a tuxedo at the back, and that's what I'm working on. I finished the head yesterday, but I had a lot of trouble with the joining of the arms. Oh my gosh, I had so much trouble. I was calculating everything wrong. And so my math didn't work. So I kept on looking at it and saying, wait a minute, according to the math, this should work, but it wasn't working. And the reason it wasn't working was because I was putting the wrong numbers in my math equation. So it took a really long time for me to attach the arms. I attached it. Okay, so my son is gonna point out that when I attached the arms, I attached it at night, and then, and then the one arm was behind the other. Yeah, I attached it late at night and one arm was in front and one arm was in back by just a couple of stitches, but it's because it was noticeable. Yeah, it was noticeable. So I had to, like, I ended up frogging like three, four rows, putting it up again. Uh, this is, it might look small because I'm using a small hook, but this is a big project. At its biggest, like its widest point, there are 60 stitches. So it does take a little while, and, and they're tight stitches, so it does take a little while to work up. But here he is. Hopefully you won't see, I won't show him like this to you. Uh, I'll probably show you a picture next week when of him finished, because I really want him finished. I want him finished by tomorrow. I really do, because I want to... Not your New Year's resolution. It's not my New Year's resolution. I really want to work on something else. Uh, I, I I need a break from these zombies. I just did 
the rain or uh, with the deadlines, which is hard. This one, I didn't meet the deadline, by the way. It's today the deadline, but I did tell him I'll try because, I mean, I had, I've made three dolls for them recently and, whew, and I've designed them, except for the Pinocchio. Does he still have, like, three of your squares? Uh, we're going to talk about the squares in a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I designed, like, two of them I designed. Well, I designed all three of them, but two of them I designed right now, and one of them I was looking at the pattern that I had already used, so it's a lot. That's and do, right? Yes, and I need a break. So hopefully they won't ask for anything anytime soon. Give me, like, a week. A week would be nice. Maybe two. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you my squares. I don't know if this is all the squares I've done. I've been working on the squares basically because I needed a break from that or I needed to think about how I wanted to proceed next because I'm designing. So at that time, I would pick up squares. I left one over there. Can you get it for me? All right. So this is one of them. I don't know which squares I already showed you, so I'm just showing you the ones I didn't weave the ends of. Another one. Another one and another one and this is going to be oops but where's my hook thank you and another one these are using my working yarn or scraps as most people would call them uh because it was overflowing and i needed to do get a handle of it it's all acrylic i didn't use any anything else although i still have a lot of cotton in that bit um i didn't use anything else sorry i'm just trying to pull out the stitch because it started to get really low why isn't it pulling out what happened I don't know. oh it's because half of it came undone all right uh yeah so i started uh i i worked on this mostly when i was um i needed a break or if uh i was thinking of how to proceed with the dolls and i wasn't sure like this week at least i did not always but this week that's what i've been doing so this is going to be my second to last square. I have this much of, I think this was Red Heart with Love left, which will probably finish this square and I'll have a start of another and I'll have to get another color to finish it off. And then I'll be finished with the squares. And I have to attach it. And I've been thinking about how to attach it and I think I have an idea. I have gray yarn and, oh my gosh, I, you know, I counted it the other day and there's so many colors and it's going to be so eclectic. You like I hope the, somebody likes it. Reminds you like the blanket Adopted when he first put the squares together? Don't listen to him, okay? <laughs> Don't listen to him. But, I hope somebody likes it. For me, I like... I like things like... I always make sure I end my part... The row. Like, for instance, I have to have more of this yarn. I could have kept going and just end halfway and not have it be a perfectly square. Um... When I make projects, I try to make the colors look nice together. And this is one where I was just taking things out of the bin and making it so well, the colors are all over. <laughs> They're all over the place. Like my scrap blanket? No, with your scrap. Okay, when I made my last scrap back, it was, was his. I picked up all the neutrals and the blues and greens. And even though I had other colors in my bin, I didn't touch them. Because, uh, and, and I ended up using a new skein for the border. Uh, no, I ended up using a couple of new skeins because I didn't have enough blues and greens for the f scrap blanket I made last year. This one, this one, I, uh, I didn't pay attention to what squares will look nice next to each other and how I should do it. I just did it. And I really, really hope someone likes it okay but I made it la I made it last December so yes technically it's two years ago but it hasn't been three Decembers two Decembers it's only been one okay so those are the stuff I've worked at oh my gosh a six minute video a seven minute video with just the and I'm done except I'm not done because it's New Year's so I need to talk about my goals uh, so last year's goals well, not last year's goals, my ongoing goals, which I have almost managed to keep, was number one, this was two years ago, I think, I decided I'm going to make a habit of this, weekly videos. I've done it. Yay! And I've done it for almost two years, okay? 
And my second ongoing goal was not to buy any patterns unless I can work on it right now. So what I had decided to do was I am not stashing any more project patterns. If I buy a pattern, I work on it right now. For one and a half years, I did it. And yesterday, yesterday on New Year's Eve, I broke it. Sorry. Hopefully I will work on it like as soon as the prints is done. But they were on sale and they were only on sale for like a couple more hours when I found them. And I really wanted it on sale because, you know, a sale is a sale, right? And uh, I got them even though I'm still working on the prints. And I know I'm not going to stop working on the prints <laughs> until it's done. So I got two more patterns. It will not make my list, hopefully. Uh, my list, by the way. That started last year. Pop it up right here. Uh, those are the pictures of all the patterns that I have had for a very, very long time and haven't worked on. Every pattern that I have bought in 2022, with the exception of these two new ones, as soon as I bought it, I worked it up. Every pattern that I bought, not every pattern, but like half the patterns that I bought in 2021, I did the same thing. I worked it up as soon as I bought it. So those never made the list because they were stashed. These ones are stashed. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a lot of X's because I worked on them and I got a lot of them done. I actually got 12 done. Now, I, last year I said I'm going to aim for one a month and I succeeded in one a month. So I got 12 done, which is, whew, I did put a little bit of pressure on myself with that because I really, really, uh, in June, I missed June because I was working on presents for when I went to Canada and I was very hard on myself about missing it and it was like constantly in the back of my mind and then I told myself to relax and I managed for a little bit I missed June I missed July but I made up for it in August September October uh but anyways I finished my last doll last week so I'm done with 12 of them so I have three left so I have a new picture that I will be popping up whenever I finish one of them and this is the new picture so my goals are just going to be maintenance, more or less. Finish these three pattern, patterns and uh, <laughs> and also work on everything I buy as soon as I buy it. Weekly videos, although I, I'm going to try. Those are like my goals. Now I'm going to try to make more shorts because I have a lot of fun doing it, but it takes a while for me to get an idea of what short I want to work on. So. I'm going to put that one goal is more shorts. Now, one goal that I did not meet from last year was more tutorials. And the reason I didn't meet it is because when I made that goal, I thought I had the equipment I needed and no, I didn't. Like I made an entire tutorial of a mermaid and I wasn't able to see the screen of my camera or my phone as I was recording. And then when I went back and saw it, I was off off frame for most of the video so I bought a new tripod it's <laughs> it's not the best it moves around a lot I keep no I keep hitting the back like I could see the video so I know I'm on frame but I keep hitting it so it it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to but I did buy a new tripod which uh, hopefully will help me with the whole staying in frame thing. And so I did not meet the make more tutorials uh, res resolution that I made last year. So I'm going to just continue that. I'm going to try to, maybe not as much as I thought about last year. Maybe I'm going to do another two or three. I do have tutorials on my channel, by the way, if you ever want to check it out. They're not the best quality. I am still working on it. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get better. Uh, so... <sighs> Yeah, it's the tutorials are long, so they're not just one video. They're part one, part two, part three type thing. Yeah, so uh, my resolutions. I'll just say them again. Finish that. Well, you probably don't see it anymore. Finish that. Those three but long, time, long time ago patterns, I need to finish those three. Um, hopefully by June, I will finish all of them. Hopefully before that. 
Not to add any more to that, because when I buy a pattern, I better be working on it right away. And I hope to work on these two patterns, like, as soon as I finish the prints. As soon as I finish the prints, I'm going to work on these two patterns, because I bought them early for a sale. That's my only excuse, because it was on sale. But yeah, so I need to finish any pattern that I buy. Like, start working on it at least. Like, some patterns, like, I'm looking at a blanket pattern, the one Anita made for her luck of the draw. I don't remember what number it is, but I love that. I love that blanket, and I found it on Etsy, and I have it on my wish list. I will buy it eventually and make it, but not yet, because I still have to buy the yarn for it, and I still have to, you know, finish other stuff first. Um, so, if I buy a pattern, I'm going to use it right away weekly videos um <clears throat> so far that's all i've done um i'm not i like showing off my makes and if i think of ideas of other stuff like i will always have a what i've been up to video but if i make a tutorial it'll be another an extra video a week or if i make a uh you know i'm gonna make a video right after this because i got some darn good yarn you'll have two videos but uh, I will try to think of more content. Um, it is definitely harder for me to film now that I am working. Uh, I am filming on Sunday. I don't have the entire week while the kids are at school anymore. Um, so I'm not sure how much more content I'll be able to put out that I'll find out more as I, I mean, I just started working in October. As I start getting into a groove, I'll figure that out. And <clears throat> excuse me especially not during December, because pretty much by the time I have some free time on a weekday, it's dark already. It's dark already. So I don't know if I'm going to be filming during the weekdays. So whatever I could fit in on Sundays. Uh, but I will try to do a few more videos than just once a week. But I'll, I'm only going to say I'm doing a once a week video. Uh, is there anything else? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Those are my resolutions. I don't like to make very strict resolutions because I get really mean to myself. I'm, I'm one of those people who I'm, I don't come down hard on anyone else. Not my kids, not anyone. I can definitely roll with it and, you know, forgive them for not making deadlines or not doing things the way I want them to do it. But when it comes to myself, I'm pretty mean to myself. So um, I think... That's why I don't like making resolutions, because resolutions gives me, I guess, an excuse to be more mean to myself, which I don't want. Um, but I will try to stick to these ones. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I lost my clicker again, by the way. So you're going to see a finger coming at you, unless I could edit that out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please subscribe. 